Two square B creative world on line twenty. So we already thought uh, we already thought uh, about we already talked about the round band to band. So for this design, this is the upper ruffles uh, design of the mesh uh, uh, net. So for this design, I'm not going to close this. I'm going to leave it flat like this and put it aside. I'm not going to close it on the machine now. It's until after I've applied my ruffle. That's when I will close it. So for my ruffle, I have my fabric here, which is 13 inches by the length of the fabric, by the length of the net. 13 inches by the length of the net. So I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. I'll close it up like this and sew it down straight. I'll just sew it straight down. Let me do that and show you. Sew my 13 inches by the length of the the length of the of the net is over 60. So I've sewn it down. But for clearance purposes, let me make something clear. If you want your own ruffles to be fuller than mine, you can increase the wideness instead of the 13 i use you can use 15 you can use 20 you can even use up to 30 for your ruffles but if you want something similar to mine you can use 13 inches but something that is fuller you can use 20 25 30 my own is not going to be that full so i'm going to i've sewn it i'm going to turn it inside out after turning it, turning it inside out i'm going to use my clip I'm going to use my clip or peg or whatever you call it. I'm going to use it to form pleats. So, in order to form pleats, I'm going to lay it flat. I just want to form like three pleats. So, forming my pleats... I will be using the clip to hold it. As I am forming it like this, I form the first layer. I will use my clip to hold it. I will form the second layer. I will use my clip to hold it. I'll form the third one. You have to be patient while forming your pleats. You are forming these pleats like auto gele pleats. If your own is even wider than this, you have to be patient because this this net fabric it requires patience to to handle. Sometimes if you don't know how to use it, it can be a little frustrating. But no matter how that fabric is, when you're making headwear, you just have to deal with it. You have to handle it. So I think I need more clips. I'm going to finish holding it. Mama. Mama. So I've held down my pleats with the clips. I used a lot of clips because this fabric will be folding, folding, folding. So the next thing I'll do now is from this hedge, I'm going to start tacking. How do I tack? I'll remove the clip. I'll put my needle in through here. Then I'm going to tack it, see, immediately after the band, please. Immediately after the band. Then I'm going to tack this. I'm going to run it through maybe two times or three times. And I'm going to be doing my tying here, in between. 
I'm going to be tying in between. I'll cut this. Then I'll move up about five inches. I'll move up maybe from this hedge about five inches. I'm going to tack this area too, the same way I did the other one. I don't want it to be far. I don't want it to be far from the band. Just immediately after the band, I'll tack this. And I'm going to tie it. And I'm going to do the same thing. On this upper area too. So before I do this, I'm going to get the midpoint of the turban. This is the midpoint. So I don't want my tacking to get up to the midpoint. So I'm going to measure somewhere around 9 inches here. Where this clip is, I'm going to tack. Don't forget, close to the band. So the next thing I will do is I will do the same thing to this other side. I don't want this video to be too much, so I'm going to cut it. I'm going to start from this other hedge, this other hedge here, and then I'm going to tack the way I started the tacking. I'm going to start tacking it. From where I started the other one so I'm going to do it up to the nine inches at the middle here and then I'll get back to you so having done the the same procedure that I did from here to here at the nine inches so I have this little space here and my clips are still holding my pleats so what I'll do now is from where my clip is holding my pleats I will make sure I'm forming something like this I'll be raising it up I'll be forming something like this This is the first one. I'll be raising it up. I can take it back so that it can be fully secure. I will do it like this. I'll remove the clip. From in here, I'll make sure I join this together with this. I can take it back through this one too. I'll bring it outside. I'm going to be forming another one. I can let this one be a little lower than this one. This one to be lower than this. After doing that, I can be removing my clips. Then this is the last one. Now make sure I laid it flat.
So here's that, I will tuck it together. I'll make sure my tuckings are holding it well. You can see. Take it in through this one to make sure everything is intact. And then I'm going to be using this needle to hold it down here. I'll use it, I'll tuck it to the body of the cap straight down like this. I'll tuck it to the body to the I'll tuck the ruffles to the body. Okay. 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 I'll tuck it to the body. After tucking it to the body very well, then I can now take this to my sewing machine, close it up with the with the air circumference. So after doing this, after tucking it very well, I can use this brooch or a pin or a brooch that has pin. If I'm using this, I'm going to be gumming it. But if I'm using a, a brooch that has pin, I'm going to be I'll just pin it to this place. So what I can do now is, if I want to, I will just open this hole. You can see. You can leave it the previous way, or you can open it up like this, whichever way you want it. You can open it up so that you have something that has a full effect. Look at it. So if I just use this to cover this front like this, or the brooch that has pin, I will just pin it to it like this. If I want to use this, I will use gum to hold it down. So what I will do now is I will take this to my sewing machine. My sewing machine might not be able to climb this. So I'm going to be using my shoemaker uh, needle to tack this down. So I'll take it to my sewing machine. From the S circumference part, I'm going to measure this 10 and a half inch and sew. And sew it down to this place. We have come to the last part, which is gathering. See, from my ten and a half inch here, I've sewn. Then I've tacked this place. Then I've sewn this place. Then I've sewn this place round. So I'm going to be gathering this with my shoemaker thread. Thank you. I have to be careful with this needle because sometimes this thing is hard. <laughs> After gathering it, I'll just use my lighter. Where well, I put my lighter now? People that are working are too much. So I'll just cut this off. I'll use my lighter to hold it. Mama. People should go and play. You will not go and play. Mama. You can see. So this is the final result. You can see the ruffles 
if you want your own i'm coming if you want your own to be fuller than this no problem so let me just wear it on the mannequin i don't forget if you want to gum your brooch i don't have the color of this brooch maybe when i go to the market i will get the color so i'm just going to show you how this looks on the mannequin this is my mannequin head look at it if i want to gum the brooch i'll just come into this front like this is this not beautiful look at it look at it look at it <laughs> thank you for watching